then look, as you're looking in, into Kisumu, look at that also as an area on, or as an avenue to put your money into Kisumu. Our investment priorities, um, based on having looked at uh, uh, the manifesto, having looked at the CIDP vision 2050 of Kisumu, um, our number one, I've seen that there is a lot of focus on uh, economic, uh, on, on activities that benefit the people of Kisumu economically. So economic benefits um, and also activities that are aligned with the strategic uh, objective of, of the county. Another priority area is um, uh, projects that are geared to economic prosperity, like I said, for the residents of Kisumu. I know governor will be very happy when I say this because for politicians, if you want to do well uh, with politicians, please do tell us how many people are you going to be employing, how many youth are you going to be employing. So if you are putting money in Kisumu, remember, remember, remember that these projects must be able to also create opportunities first for the people of Kisumu and for the people from without. Projects also uh, that create uh, substantive job, job opportunities, like I said, and projects that optimize and use locally uh, produced materials also are key, for instance, and will also, you'll also be able to you know, cut a deal easily uh, with the county government if you, if you are able to demonstrate uh, that you will use locally produced materials, for instance, if you're going to manufacturing. Bankable and, of course, sustainable projects we are talking about climate change so if you are able to also prove that you um, you know you have you, you're sensitive about sustainability then um, then I think you will not have a problem with the county government of Kisumu so what are the key drivers uh, for how uh, Kisumu County would like to engage its investors it's driven by those four principles one is transparency. I have not seen another county in Kenya that reads its count, state of the county address religiously like the county of Kisumu. Professor Makofi. You can almost tell that after His Excellency the President reads the state of the nation address, tomorrow His Excellency the, the, the Governor of Kisumu will read. And what does this then show to investors that this is a county that is serious about transparency, that is serious about this is how we are doing. If we are doing well, where well, we have not done well, I've listened to those state of the county addresses and they own up and they say here, we imagined we would be here, but we did make it and these are the encumbrances. So transparency is key to be able to, to attract and retain investor confidence. Accountability is another thing. You're able to be accountable for monies that have been given to you and, um, and, and that is something that I have seen in Kisumu County, and I want to congratulate uh, the governor. Governance is another thing. I said a county is as good as a person, the man or the woman at the helm. Kisumu County has been able to demonstrate stability in its governance process, and uh, you know it's it's also a unique, um, a unique, a unique thing, um, you know, for for Kisumu County. Then there is also the positive outlook. GCR has stated that Kisumu's outlook is stable, which is a vote of confidence. And the, the outlook of Kisumu, Seteris, Peribas, all factors remaining constant, is a positive outlook. The last one that has five ast asterisks is, is the political stability of Kisumu. And I'd like to spend a minute on this. When I was growing up in the capital markets for many years, investors would tell me money hates noise. Investment hates noise. Unfortunately, Kisumu County has been one that has suffered a reputational risk of the hotbed during the political season. I want to urge the political class that is here today to cool down and slow down your political temperatures if you do want Kisumu to have and maintain that stable outlook. Where there is chaos, investors usually will shy away. You might have heard companies that do this, uh, I'm sure you have heard of the Standards and Poor's, you might have heard of Fitch, you might have heard of Moody's, and uh, recently on 28th of July, um, 
a company called GCR, which is a credit rating company, did then look through Kisumu and also give Kisumu a credit rating. So then what is the purpose of uh, a credit rating? A credit rating is able to, to look and weigh at the riskiness of an issuer and the issuer's ability and willingness thereof uh, to meet its debt obligations. This becomes very important because you know nobody grows without some level of debt, whether it's at a personal basis or even at, an, an, at, an, at a government basis. It's, it's important to look at the credit worthiness um, of, and the ability of an entity to be able to pay. Um, just go back, I'm not done. I wish I had a pointer, then I would do this by myself. Next time, please get a pointer. Now, um, the other thing is that um, a good credit rating or credit rating can determine uh, the approval process. Uh, welcome very much, Katibu. Um, of a debt facility, the approval process of a debt facility um, has an, an excess on uh, the credit rating. Credit rating also uh, determines the applicable interest rates or the costs of capital, the cost of whatever you're borrowing. It also, a good credit rating will inspire investor confidence. Next slide. Wow. Good. So then what does uh, credit rating mean for Kisumu County? Like I said on 28th of July, a company called GCR affirmed the county government of Kisumu uh, with a double B on long-term uh, issuer rating um, and a single B on short-term issuer basis with an outlook, with a stable outlook. So. At this point, let me congratulate His Excellency, the Governor and the County Government of Kisumu for this wonderful, wonderful performance. Kisumu is just one of the four uh, credit rated uh, um, counties and a credit rating will also show you that the Governor is also ready and open to show um, accountability on his part to those who are willing to interrogate the internal processes. So a double B, congratulations to you, Professor, and your team. And, uh, and a stable outlook is encouraging. Now, this um, was on 28th of July. I've been able to follow Kisumu County to find out how we are doing after the credit rating. And some of the things that came out in the report um, have been regularized. And I am sure, beyond any reasonable doubt, if we were going to... Um, if we were going to go back to GCR today, we would certainly get a good reclassification. These are some of the things that uh, uh, the team, the governor and the team have been able to work on that were raised by GCR. Uh, the issue of appointing the audit committee now is done. Uh, increase and in stabilization of own source revenue. We can see a steady growth of own source revenue and I think the finance team might have shared that with you. The own source revenue strategy uh, GCR had recommended we stay within the range of 8.7, 15%. I think currently, I just saw this morning, Kisumu is now at 17%. Congratulations to yourselves. The issue of the valuation role was raised, um, you know, as a, because what, what a credit rating does, it's a little bit like a SWOT analysis. So it will give you the strengths and your weaknesses and what you need to work on. So some of these things, like the valuation role, were, were raised by GCR. They have been able to be regularized. I'm told there is uh, somebody that went to court, and that is why there is uh, an asterisk there with litigation. The issue of arrears, you know, uh, uncollected arrears, now are down from nine billion to seven billion. Congratulations to you. We are struggling with that uh, in Nyeri and in many, many other counties. The audit opinion, just like many counties, um, in many counties in Kenya, actually almost all counties, have had an adverse opinion. Kisumu has been able to move from an adverse opinion to a qualified opinion, which is not the ideal position. We want to move this to an unqualified position, and I know the team is working hard to ensure that that does happen. The reconciliations between IFMIS and the financial statements uh, have been able to get done. The reconciliations between the bank accounts and the bank balances are done. The regularization of the asset register is done. 
and they, there has also um, been an, an start of a process of the HR audit, which should be able to see, uh, you know, whether you're able to deal with your recurrent expenditure, which once again is not a unique case uh, for Kisumu County. In Nyeri County, when we did an HR audit, we discovered that we had people called mosquito catchers, and there were not well, over 100 people being paid a salary with a job description as a mosquito catcher. There were others who were meter readers, and we had no meters. So it, it, is, it is also something that is cross-cutting. So it's important to then do your HR audit, get to know who you're paying. If we can move to the next slide. This is now, um, um, I, I, we have cut this out from, from the report to show you exactly where Kisumu, uh, Kisumu is, and that's where the, the red circle is. And like I said, uh, I have no doubt with the things that have been able to be regularized, if we go back to GCR today, which is just a couple of months after the rating, we'll be able to see that move up to a triple B for long-term issuer and a, an A3 for short-term issuer, and therefore moving the risk from a moderate risk to a low risk county. I have no doubt that we're able um, then to, so that is a wonderful, wonderful step uh, for Kisumu County. If we can move to the next slide. Good, so, so what is the significance of uh, a credit rating? Number one, um, a credit rating, like I said, uh, gives, shows confidence on the governance structure. I like to say a county is as good as the man or the woman at the helm of it. If you have a bad governance structure, you shouldn't expect miracles. Of course, the outcome is going to be poor. For Kisumu County, uh, you need to thank God for Professor Anyang Nyongo, who is a show of confidence even to the face of investors, and, um, and has been able also to put together a governance structure that in inspires uh, confidence. Uh, credit rating also gives believability of the financial position. We all know that there are some financial positions of companies and county governments that uh, we cannot really believe. So this is a stamp of confidence from an outsider of the believability of the financial position of the county. Uh, the other um, thing is that it also gives confidence uh, in the accountability processes of uh, the county government.